Welcome back everyone. This is probably going to be the last iPhone 12 video leak video that I do in a little bit. I've been dropping like five in the last couple of days, but there was just something so groundbreaking that happened yesterday that I have to talk about it. Now, this specific image was actually a video, but this image that I'm showing you right now is taken from a bigger video and everything Apple Pro actually tweeted it out yesterday. So shout out to him. And the fact that he tweeted it out, you know, it gives it a little bit more credibility. Now, if it was somebody else, like I said, I would have probably let it, okay, like whatever, it's probably fake, but because it's come from him, I mean, he's the GOAT. We got to, you know, show a little bit of respect to it. And what I can tell you about this is, is that this is kind of, I mean, it's kind of what we've been seeing and kind of what we've been hearing for a long time now about what the iPhone 12 could potentially be bringing. Now, there weren't any, you know, new additions into whether or not the September 15th event is going to be the iPhone release. I'm hoping it is, but probably it's going to be an announcement and then eventually we'll get the release after. But within this video, we get a glimpse of basically the internal of what the chassis of the iPhone 12 could look like. Now, as you can see, it does have the flat sides as we were already expecting. And on the back, you can see that we do have the standard triple camera setup with the lidar sensor below it and then the flash right above it now this actually kind of gives the impression that it is a little bit more you know symmetrical in a way i do kind of like the quadruple camera setup that we were getting kind of on the fake models that we were all kind of getting but i still think this actually looks pretty good as well now inside of it we do have you know i think that's the wireless charging little thing in the black circle in the middle of it and you can see that it actually looks like a pretty well built thing now i've had a lot of fake phones in my day you know i've bought the last fake iphones for the 11 series i bought them again for the 12 series and i can tell you these phones are not built that well they don't feel that premium they skimp out on a lot of different parts and with a phone like this the internal of the iphone 12 it's easy to say it's fake but to actually look at it and to notice all these many little screws and how perfect the circle is and all these other little things inside of it. I've looked inside of a ton of different iPhones and if this is fake, then I mean, it's a really, really good looking fake one because this looks almost identical to a lot of the iPhones that I've seen in my day once I opened them up. Now, like I stated before, I've had a couple of these fake iPhones and they are not built this well. They don't even look this real. You can tell that some parts are made out of plastic and other parts don't look that great. This iPhone actually looks legit. Now, I don't know if it's real or not. Like I said, I have no, I mean, I'm not verified with this guy or whoever posts this video. I have no idea, but it does look kind of legit. You know what I mean? So again, I don't know if it's real. If it's fake, then I, okay, I guess they got me, but it does look pretty legit based on the video that I saw in the images. Now, going one step further, like I stated before, the design of this is the most important aspect, the internals or whatever, the camera layout. I think it's going to be pretty much almost the same, but this kind of, you know, articulates that as well because we do have that LiDAR sensor below it. So it is kind of the same, but you're getting that additional LiDAR sensor. Maybe we have the ability of shooting 8K video or something like that. I'm not too sure, but we still don't know what the screen is going to look like based on everything that we've heard probably it's going to maintain the same exact display as like what we have on the iPhone 11 Pro and all those other phones. The notch is going to stay the same size, but this kind of gives us more of an insight of what could potentially be happening. And since we already have this chassis, we already know Apple's developing it. Apparently Apple, you know, pushed out development for these things, I think a week ago or two weeks ago. Apparently the 120 hertz refresh rate did not come out for the Pro Max or any of the models as far as we know. We could be totally wrong about that, but that's kind of what we've been hearing. So this is some pretty big news, guys. Like I stated before, I'm pretty sure the iPhone 12 is going to be announced September 15th, and I think it's going to be released sometime in October. You know, I think they might do another event after, but I think they're going to tell us this now. Pre-orders are probably going to be like two weeks from now, and then officially like October or whenever, you know, something like that. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also, check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.